Have you ever wondered about the spectacular eruptions that burst from the sun's surface known as solar flares? These powerful emissions, while fascinating, are dwarfed in comparison by a phenomenon known as super flares. Super flares, as observed by NASA's Kepler and TESS missions, are produced by stars that are 100 to 10,000 times brighter than our sun. They stand as awe-inspiring testament to the immense energy housed within these celestial bodies. Now, you might be asking what exactly are these super flares and how do they come to be? The answer lies in the complex world of astrophysics. Just like the smaller solar flares from our sun, super flares are sudden releases of magnetic energy. However, stars that produce super flares possess much stronger magnetic fields, resulting in much brighter and more powerful flares. What's intriguing about these super flares is their unusual behavior. They start with a short-lived enhancement, followed by a secondary, longer duration, but less intense flare. This unique pattern puzzled scientists, leading them to develop a model to explain the phenomenon, which was published in the esteemed Astrophysical Journal. Previously, it was believed that the visible light in these flares came only from the lower layers of a star's atmosphere. This light was thought to be the result of particles energized by magnetic reconnection falling down from the star's hot corona or outer layer and heating these lower layers. However, recent research proposed a different hypothesis. It suggested that the emission from coronal loops or hot plasma trapped by a star's magnetic field might also be detected in super flaring stars. The catch, these loops would need to have an incredibly high density. Testing this hypothesis presented a significant challenge as we are unable to see these coronal loops on stars other than our sun. But in a fortunate turn of events, astronomers spotted stars with a peculiar light curve, similar to a celestial peak bump. This curve, where a second more gradual peak follows the initial burst, bore a striking resemblance to a solar phenomenon known as late phase flares. To summarize, Super flares are powerful eruptions from stars with strong magnetic fields. Their unique behavior, characterized by an initial burst followed by a longer, less intense flare, led scientists to propose a new hypothesis about their origin. Instead of only coming from the lower layers of a star's atmosphere, the visible light in these flares might also be emitted from highly dense coronal loops. While there is still much to learn about these extraordinary events, the universe continues to surprise and intrigue us with its dynamic and complex phenomena. As our understanding of super flares evolves, we're reminded of the infinite mysteries our cosmos holds, waiting to be discovered.